What was meant to be another remarkable chapter in her extraordinary journey took an unexpected turn, claiming the life of the fastest woman on four wheels, Jesse Combs. Join us as we uncover the details of Jesse's final drive, revealing the tragic and mysterious incident that unfolded in the boundless Alverd Desert. Answering the questions that surround her untimely demise, Jesse Combs was born on July 27, 1980 in South Dakota, USA. From a young age, Jesse was drawn to speed and mechanics, fostered by her family's passion for exploration and off-roading. As the daughter of a mechanical engineer, she worked by her father's side at home in their garage, learning how to fix cars and modify engines. Eventually, her passion for cars led to building, overhauling, and racing them. Jessie dived headfirst into the world of engineering and metalworking. She attended Wyotech, a technical trade school in Wyoming, studying various automotive disciplines, and graduating with honors in custom automotive fabrication. Jessie's time at Wyotech laid the foundation for her future career. After her graduation in 2004, Jessie ventured into the professional world with boundless enthusiasm. Armed with her newfound expertise, she forged her path as a skilled metalworker, fabricator, and automotive expert. Her talents and determination quickly caught the attention of industry professionals, leading to her appearance on the popular TV show Overhaulin in the early 2000s. The exposure from Overhaulin served as a launching pad for her television career and led to several other notable appearances on shows like Extreme 4x4, where she held a prominent position for four years and appeared in over 90 episodes. On Extreme 4x4, Jessie showcased her skills and expertise, building an impressive portfolio of race trucks, street trucks, and trail rigs that captivated millions of viewers. In 2007, Jesse experienced a widely publicized and unexplainable accident while working in the studio. A large piece of machinery fell on her, causing a devastating burst fracture in her spine's L3, which should have left her wheelchair bound. However, with the support of surgery, bed rest, therapy, and eight months of recovery, Jesse miraculously received a full medical release. In the following years, Jesse made appearances on shows like Mythbusters and All Girls Garage, further solidifying her status as a prominent and versatile TV personality. Her talents and passion for automotive work and metal fabrication were on full display in these programs, and Jessie's captivating personality, combined with her unwavering dedication to her craft, made her a role model for many aspiring female engineers and racers around the world. The training associated with these TV shows has allowed Jessie to become a performance driver for the film and commercial world. She has driven everything from supercars to monster trucks, relics to rally cars, hot rods, two wheels, four wheels, and even at times, no wheels. In addition to her television work, Jessie Combs was widely recognized as the fastest woman on four wheels due to her accomplishments in the world of land speed racing. Land speed record cars leave traditional racing vehicles like Indy, NASCAR, or Formula One in the dust, boasting speeds two to four times faster. With the rules wide open, innovation knows no bounds. As long as the car has wheels, virtually anything is fair game. These earthbound rockets exhibit breathtaking originality in their designs, yet, surprisingly, the teams behind them operate on a fraction of the budget seen in professional racing. In 2013, Jessie achieved her groundbreaking feat of setting the four-wheel land speed record at an astonishing 398 miles per hour with a top speed run of 440 miles per hour in the North American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenger. This incredible Challenger, a retired F-104 Starfighter Air Force fighter jet, is stripped of its wings and equipped with solid aluminum wheels and boasts an astounding 52,000 horsepower and stretches an impressive 56 feet in length. Beyond her land speed endeavors, Jessie fearlessly participated in major long-distance off-road races proving her mettle in legendary events such as the Baja 1000 in Baja, California, Mexico, and the epic King of Hammers in the treacherous desert of Johnson Valley, California. Her fearless spirit and unmatched skills made her a respected and admired competitor in the racing community. Over the years, Jessie continued to push the limits of her abilities and inspire others with her fearless pursuit of speed and mechanical excellence. Her dedication to her passion was evident through her relentless efforts to break barriers and set new records. Despite facing challenges and setbacks, she remained undeterred and demonstrated remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. Juggling her pursuits in land speed records, maintaining television appearances, and cultivating a prominent social media presence required unparalleled dedication. 
Jesse recognized that her ambitions and choices set her apart, and she acknowledged that a conventional life and family seemed improbable, particularly as a woman in what predominantly remained a male-dominated realm. On August 27, 2019, Jesse Combs and her team embarked on a daring land speed record attempt in Oregon's Alver Desert, aiming to surpass the existing women's land speed world record, which was set in 1976 by Kitty O'Neill in a three-wheel vehicle at an impressive 512 miles per hour. Their mission? To crown Jesse Combs as the fastest woman on Earth. On Twitter, she posted, It may seem a little crazy to walk directly into the line of fire. Those who are willing are those who achieve great things. People say I'm crazy. I say thank you. Little did she know the fate that awaited her. Jesse's ultimate ambition that day was to reach a speed that exceeded 512 miles per hour, thereby earning the title of the fastest woman on Earth. With her incredible skills, determination, and the North American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenger, she sought to conquer the vast expanse of the Alver Desert and make history. I, I'm not afraid of dying, but I'm not ready to die. Is this something that I really want to die for, you know? Is this something I want to die for? As Jessie pushed her vehicle to its limits, tragedy struck. Just minutes into the attempt, something went horribly wrong, causing her vehicle to lose control at an incredibly high speed. Her courage and determination were evident as she tried in vain to shut down the engine, deploy the parachutes, and apply the brakes, all while attempting to steer. She fought to regain control, but fate had a different plan. The vehicle crashed at an extremely high speed, leading to her untimely and tragic death. What happened? Based on the evidence collected and examined at the scene of the crash and the evidence recovered by the North American race team, it appears that there was a mechanical failure of the front wheel, most likely caused from striking an object on the desert, according to the Harney County Sheriff's Office press release. The front wheel failure led to the front wheel assembly collapsing. The front wheel failure occurred at speeds approaching 550 miles per hour. Jessie was killed by blunt force trauma to the head, according to investigators. She died before fire engulfed the race vehicle. In June 2020, almost a year after Jessie tragically lost her life while attempting to break the land speed record as a female driver, Guinness World Records has finally recognized her as the fastest woman on Earth. The official fastest female land speed record mark now stands at an impressive 522.8 miles per hour. It's a well-deserved acknowledgement of her extraordinary talent and dedication. During her record attempt, Jessie had achieved a phenomenal 515.3 miles per hour on one run and a mind-blowing 548.4 miles per hour before the accident occurred. Land speed records typically involve a two-way average of two runs completed within 60 minutes of each other. Although the average speed would have been 531.9 miles per hour, Guinness arrived at 522.8 miles per hour perhaps a result of complex calculations regarding the distance covered at speed across the two runs. Regardless of the exact figure, there's no denying that Jesse Combs' accomplishments were nothing short of remarkable. If it were up to many, recognizing her record at 548.4 miles per hour and calling it a day would have been a fitting tribute to her unparalleled bravery and skill. Nonetheless, her recognition as the fastest woman on earth is a testament to her enduring legacy in the world of land speed racing. Her passing deeply affected the racing community and her countless fans, but her legacy continues to live on. She's remembered not only for her incredible racing achievements, but also for her indomitable spirit, fearlessness, and determination to inspire others to pursue their passions without hesitation. Today, she remains an enduring symbol of empowerment and courage, inspiring future generations to chase their dreams and break barriers. Jesse's boyfriend and fellow racer, Terry Matt, posted a heartfelt tribute on Instagram. I've never loved or been loved by anyone as much as this amazing woman. She was truly my unicorn, and I cherished every single moment spent with her. Jesse had the most incredible spirit I've ever known, and I doubt I'll ever come across anyone like her again. Alongside these touching words, he posted a tribute video featuring cherished snapshots of their time together. He closed his heartfelt message by saying, Rest in peace, Jesse Combs. You will forever be remembered as the fastest woman on four wheels, and your legacy will continue to inspire us all. 
Jessie's journey from a young girl fascinated by speed to becoming the fastest woman on four wheels was nothing short of extraordinary. Her passion for engineering and her relentless dedication to her craft inspired countless individuals around the world, especially aspiring female engineers and racers. Jessie's groundbreaking feat in land speed racing will forever be etched in the annals of motorsports history. But Jessie Combs' story doesn't end with her untimely passing. In her memory, a small group of friends, family, and loved ones founded the Jessie Combs Foundation in 2019, dedicated to educating, inspiring, and empowering the next generation of female trailblazers. The foundation strives to carry forward her legacy of breaking barriers and defying stereotypes. Guided by the simple question, what would Jessie do? Today, her foundation continues to make a positive impact, encouraging young minds to pursue their dreams unapologetically, just as Jessie did throughout her life. Her enduring legacy remains a beacon of empowerment, reminding us that with passion, determination, and fearlessness, we can achieve greatness. Jessie Combs' journey may have been cut short, but her spirit lives on in the hearts of those she inspired and the countless lives she touched. She will forever be remembered as the fastest woman on earth and as a symbol of empowerment and courage for generations to come. If you found this video informative or thought-provoking, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on more tragic stories. We love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on this story.